everybody, my name is Fintan Murphy from Dams and Cloud. Today I wanted to talk to you about our top 10 features for 2016 in G Suite. 2016 was a big year for Google and there was many, many feature releases and I just wanted to talk to you about my top 10. The first was Google's rebrand. Google rebranded Google Apps for Work to G Suite. This was a big change for Google and it really shows how they're taking enterprise seriously. The second is Team Drive. Team Drive was released in September in Google's early adopter program. So it's only certain customers and, and partners were able to join. And Team Drive solves a challenge or issue within Google Drive currently, where users find it difficult to create a central area to, to hold their documents and share their documents with other people in their organization. And, and for the IT team, IT team or for someone within the organization to have central control. And it gets us a little bit closer to that server in the cloud, which is what a lot of IT teams are attempting to, to, to get to. With team drives, the or, people in the organization can create team folders and any files or documents placed in that folder are owned by the team rather than individuals. And this solves a challenge of both central control and when someone leaves the organization that you don't have to then migrate the files and documents within their account to another account. The third feature is Google Sites. Google refreshed and re-released Google Sites and the new Google Sites is fantastic. And I would recommend that you go and take a look at it if you haven't seen it yet. Com compared to the old Google Sites, it's leaps and bounds ahead in terms of design, in terms of ease of use, and also in terms of functionality. Some of the functionality won't be the same as what was in the old Google Sites, and that may leave some of you to wait until uh, those features are on par. But certainly at the moment, if you haven't used Google Sites yet, or you're looking for a very simple internet solution for your organization, uh, I would definitely recommend that you go and take a look at the new Google Sites. Core area that Google worked on this year was search. Search within G Suite has become really, really powerful. It was always very, very good, but Google has now added things like natural language search. So you, you can just put in keywords and, and natural language that you would use day to day, and it will find those terms or predict, based on what you're typing, the information that you're looking for. Also, Google has released the ability to search across all of the different products, and this is fantastic. So if I'm in Gmail and I'm actually looking for a document, I might start to type it in, and it will predict the document or the email that I'm looking for, and I can jump straight to that document uh, from within my Gmail. The fifth area is integration. Google announced massive integrations with Slack and Box, and integrations on single sign-on with Facebook and Office 365. And it's really obvious that Google are working hard to integrate with these other solutions that many of our customers uh, already use within their business. The sixth area is training. Training and change management are key when your organization moves to the cloud. And Google have focused their attention uh, this year on training within the Google ecosystem. And they purchased a company called Synergize in the early part of the year. This eventually rebranded to G Suite Training and has become integrated into the Google platform. All you need to do is go to the uh, Chrome extension store and download the, the little Chrome extension, install that onto your computer, and you'll be able to have uh, personal training built into your Gmail or your um, Google Documents or indeed uh, Google Calendar. Perfect for training new employees or indeed finding some new features and learning how they work. The seventh area I wanted to discuss was Gmail for iOS. It got a massive overhaul, and the Gmail iOS app was really, really good, but the new one is even better. You've got better archiving, you've got faster response times, you've got um, improved search. If you have um, uh, an Apple device, I'd recommend that you download or update the new Gmail app and give it a go. The eighth feature is voice typing. This is a great little feature. It's lesser known for, for many people, and a lot of people maybe don't like the idea of using voice commands and things like that, particularly in a work environment. But I found it hugely valuable to read out the text that you want, and the Google Voice uh, uh, typing will, will convert that into text. Won't always get everything 100% perfect, but it generally gets enough of the information in there that you can then go in and edit it. And if you're writing a long document, 
This is really, really valuable. Number nine, templates. Templates were released again in, in Google Drive. And this is a fantastic feature where you can now go in and see templates for documents, for presentations, for spreadsheets that, that have already been created and you can reuse those yourself. You can also add your own company templates as well, which is hugely valuable. But certainly for me, being able to have a template of a presentation or um, a spreadsheet allows me to get my work done faster. And the last one that I thought deserved an honorable mention was images in Google Forms. Many of us use Google Forms to gather information from our customers or from our staff. And Google added the ability to add images into Forms. This was a request from many of our customers. And having the ability to add images into Forms means that they can now make their Forms much more robust and much more interactive. I hope you enjoyed our first video of the year. I look forward to making more and talking to you again about new features and updates in the cloud. Thank you.